Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I'm going to show you how to take off the front sway bar on a C5Z06. This happens to be a T1 sway bar. Okay, let's get to it. Turn the wheels to get at the lower uh, link nut and bolt. And uh, also, this is, this is the way I've got the car jacked up. It's going to load up the... So, it's going to droop the suspension and it's going to put a little load on the sway bar. So you have to get a bottle jack under here, uh, maybe to pull these out or probably definitely to be able to put the next bar back in. So I've got the bottom part of the link off on both sides. And now instead of trying to get to that top part of the link, I'm just going to drop the bar right out with these one, two, three, four brackets holding the rubber bushings in there, holding the bar on. And it looks to me like it'll just pop right out and then I can get those easy once it's off. Uh, so be careful, these are all screwed into the cradle here and you don't wanna cross thread any of these, mostly when it's going back together, but just go easy on these uh, bolts. They're smaller, like about a, I don't know, a 15 maybe. Actually, they're 13. I have spacers, or flat washer spacers on these bushings and brackets uh, so that it wasn't too tight. Um, you may want to do that. You may not want to do that. You should research it, look into it. Okay, so I had to wiggle it up and down back and forth in and out a little bit but I, I got it to get clear maybe if I'd straighten out the wheels it might have come out a little easier but uh, anyway that came out pretty easy um, maybe a little bit easier than the back one I have another video on the rear bar look it up so here's some data for you and I think this is pretty clear but I'll just read it anyway the top one is C5, Z06, original bar. Middle is C6, Z06, original bar. The bottom one is T1. Going from smallest to biggest, 30.34 millimeter, 30.86 millimeter, 38.46 millimeter. Inches, 1.194. 1.215 and 1.514 for that big bad T1 bar. So I am going to be selling the C6 Z06 bars. So if you know anybody who's looking for those, uh, please direct them to this video and then they can go to my channel and communicate with me there on. Uh, probably is a tab or something that says about froggy or something like that anyway I'll just post it up there and I'll get a hold of them so I'm um, gonna put that original one back into this car the C5 car and I'm not gonna video all of that stuff because I showed it to you coming out and I think it's uh, pretty straightforward so in in the spirit of trying to shorten up, clean up, get to the point on my videos. That's it. Give me a thumbs up or a like. This helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. And see you later, guys and gals. Have fun. Be safe. Oh, by the way, that's an original link. Okay? And that's an adjustable link. So, they're different. Okay? Bye. And one more thing for you. And there's the weight. I figured while I had them off, I might as well give you the weight. So that's 9.4 pounds on the original C5Z, 10.8 pounds on the original C60, and 16.8 pounds on the T1 bar. And I got the uh, end links off all of them. Rubber bushings don't weigh very much. Uh, one little final tidbit of information for the torquing uh, both of the bolts that clamp onto the insulator, both are 43, 
don't overdo it or you'll strip it out and the tie rod ends are 53 uh, not tie rod ends I'm sorry stabilizer shaft links link nuts 53 and that's same as it was it was on the back okay see you later